U boat crew. The Supa Hookah offers a modern twist on scuba diving by replacing heavy air tanks with a compact surface based air supply system. No more hauling bulky cylinders on your back. Your air source floats above you as you explore below. Its makers claim this is exactly what the diving community has been waiting for, though that's for divers to decide. With the Supa Hookah, you can descend to depths of up to 10 meters and remain underwater for around two hours. Power comes from removable rechargeable batteries, and the entire setup packs neatly into a suitcase small enough to qualify as carry-on luggage with most major airlines. As a bonus, the system is equipped with USB ports to keep devices like smartphones or action cameras charged while on the go. The Supa Hookah is available for $700. GTF-8S Prototype Hydrofoil EBO Dutch hydrofoil manufacturer Eterado has set a new standard for eco-friendly luxury with the 8S model. Powered by a fully electric drivetrain and equipped with retractable hydrofoils, it glides smoothly and quickly across the water, leaving no wake or emissions behind. Weighing 4,300 pounds, the vessel features a carbon fiber hull and two hydrofoils that lift it above the surface, reducing drag by more than 60%. Its automatic control system adjusts the angle of each wing up to 100 times per second, ensuring both stability and safety. The 8S can reach a top speed of 38 knots and offers a range of 40 nautical miles at 25 knots, supported by an 80 kilowatt battery pack and twin 50 kilowatt engines. For docking or cruising in shallow water, the foils can be fully retracted into the hull. The 8S combines speed, style, and sustainability in a single advanced watercraft. Do you want me to pay Onan Carver X? For those wanting the exhilaration of gliding across the sea at maximum speed, the Onan Carver X is an ideal choice. Equipped with a dual jet propulsion system delivering 10,000 watts of torque, it can effortlessly support riders weighing over 85 kilograms. Its distinctive design ensures stability even on large waves while maintaining full control at high speeds. The board is powered by two included batteries, offering up to 40 minutes of ride time, making it both strong and durable. Its modern build conceals the communication antennas within the remote control unit, giving it a sleek appearance. Suitable for beginners and intermediate riders alike, the Carver X is a great option for anyone who enjoys the thrill of electric surfboards. Connor K3 Amphibious hailed as an engineering triumph, but why undersell it? How many helicopters can not only land on water, but also float and move using water jets? Granted, the speed isn't super high, just 15 kilometers per hour, but for rescue workers, this feature is a game changer. After a water landing, the Connor K3 Amphibious can take off from the water and fly away, thanks to its unique engine setup. It has two engines, a 250 horsepower gas turbine and a 90 horsepower electric engine. The electric engine kicks in when power is low or at lower altitudes, giving pilots more time to get their bearings. Another cool feature is the GPS lock, which lets the helicopter stay put at specific coordinates while sitting on the planet solar. This unique catamaran immediately stands out thanks to its futuristic design. Built at the German shipyard Nirim, the project was brought to life by Swiss visionary Raphael Damjan. Instead of conventional fuel, Planet Solar relies entirely on sunlight, which is converted into energy through solar cells covering its surface. These panels can generate up to 93 kilowatts of power. To supply the engine's full 120 kilowatt demand, the vessel is equipped with 537 square meters of solar panels that charge massive lithium-ion batteries weighing a total of 8.5 tons. Measuring 31 meters in length, 15 meters in width, and 7.5 meters in height, this eco-friendly yacht can comfortably carry up to 50 passengers. While its top speed is a modest 25 kilometers per hour, Planet Solar represents a groundbreaking step towards sustainable marine travel. Looker 350. One of the standout features of this innovative boat is its transparent glass bottom, offering passengers a unique view of the underwater world. With space for up to 30 people, the Looker 350 is powered by a 370 horsepower diesel engine. The vessel measures 10.5 meters in length and weighs around 4 tons. 
Typically, glass-bottom boats travel at lower speeds since the focus is on sightseeing below the surface. However, the Looker 350 breaks that stereotype by combining advanced marine technology, a sleek design, and specialized underwater wings. These enhancements allow the yacht to reach an impressive top speed of 75 kilometers per hour. Adding to its appeal is a massive spheroidal viewing window, measuring two by three meters, giving passengers a breathtaking panoramic experience of the sea beneath them. YMV Proteus. The Wham V Proteus is an experimental yacht developed by Marine Advanced Research, and it's often nicknamed the Spider, and one look at it explains why. Unlike traditional catamarans, its deck superstructure is not rigidly attached to the floats. Instead, it's connected through a unique damping suspension system. This design greatly reduces cabin movement when sailing over large waves, while also cutting down on fuel consumption, making long voyages smoother and more efficient. One of its most fascinating features is that the superstructure has its own engines. It can actually detach from the floats and operate as a completely separate enclosed boat. The Proteus measures 29 meters in length, 15 meters in width, and stands over 6 meters tall. Despite its unusual design, it's impressively capable, reaching speeds of 56 kilometers per hour and offering a lifting capacity of up to 2 tons. The Wham V Proteus isn't just a yacht, it's a glimpse into the future of adaptive marine engineering. Do you want Sea Trek? Sea Trek offers an underwater walking tour that requires no diving skills, making it suitable for participants from age 8 to over 80. Available in locations worldwide, from the Bahamas and Curacao to the Philippines and Guam, each tour typically lasts around 25 minutes and often allows photography or video recording to capture the experience. A professional guide leads the group, and CRA helmets provide three times more air than normal while equalizing pressure to prevent discomfort. The helmet design even lets you pinch your nose to clear your ears, all while keeping your head dry, so you can keep glasses or contact lenses on. In Mexico, this unique experience costs $79 per person. Jetstream, the thrill seeker's best friend. That's how the Canadian creators of Jetstream describe their boats, and for good reason. Built to handle some of the wildest rivers in North America, these compact boats are designed for maximum performance in minimal space. The smallest jet stream model is just under two meters long, while the largest reaches 3.6 meters. Yet, they're tough enough to jump rapids and cruise through rough waters. Some versions even come as self-assembly kits, with prices starting at just $1,600, making them an affordable entry into high adrenaline boating. A wide selection of accessories allows owners to customize their boats for various adventures, whether it's fishing, island hopping, or beach getaways with the family. And if you're into power, take note, the model shown in the video is running a 255 horsepower engine can zap proof that small boats can pack a serious punch. Vancraft VQ-16 Jet Ski? Mini Yacht? Speedboat? The Vancraft VQ-16 is all three in one sleek package. Designed to seat five people, this versatile watercraft is a dream for water sports lovers. According to reports, the idea came from a simple question. The founder of the shipyard asked his friends what their perfect boat would look like. He took their feedback and combined it into a single bold creation, the VQ-16, a boat with the agility of a jet ski and the power of a luxury speedboat. Each VQ-16 is handcrafted with a customizable interior to match the owner's style. It measures five meters long, and buyers can choose between a 185 or 250 horsepower Yamaha engine, reaching top speeds of 83 kilometers per hour or 98 kilometers per hour, respectively. Its motto? Fun machine. Just be ready for the price tag. This unique hybrid comes in at around $200,000. Flyway. Also making waves is the High Fly Water Sport Team with their groundbreaking creation, the Flyway, the world's first hydrofoil electric jet ski. What makes it stand out? It literally flies above the water, drastically reducing energy consumption by up to 70%. That translates into more ride time and more chances to pull off those tricky stunts on a single charge. Technical details are still limited, but here's what we know. Instead of a traditional water jet, the flyway uses a propeller and steers via a rudder rather than tilt-based controls. And just to sweeten the ride, it comes with a built-in Bluetooth speaker. The price? Around 15,500, not bad for a first-of-its-kind hydrofoil thrill machine. 
Sea Bubbles Sea Bubbles is a next-gen watercraft designed to enhance urban mobility while preserving aquatic ecosystems. With electric engines, it produces no waves, no noise, and no emissions, making it an eco-friendly alternative to traditional boats. Thanks to its highly efficient hydrofoil design, it can cut operating costs by up to 90%. The standard model carries a captain and four passengers, cruising at speeds up to 22 kilometers per hour. What's impressive is that it needs just 11 kilometers per hour and three seconds to lift out of the water on its foils. A larger version, the Smart Bubble, accommodates up to 12 passengers and can accelerate to 30 kilometers per hour, with AI on board to optimize energy use and system control. Eduardo 8S, also in the hydrofoil arena, is the Eduardo 8S, a sleek electric boat that offers what its creators call a completely new experience. Designed by Evo Van Hutten, a Porsche collaborator, it boasts cutting-edge style and performance. This boat uses AI-controlled hydrofoils that continuously adjust for balance and efficiency, allowing speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. It's even agile enough to turn 360 degrees on the spot, making docking a breeze. However, despite its premium feel, its range is just 74 kilometers, which might fall short of expectations, especially for a vessel priced at $414,000. Hansteger X1 Hansteger builds boats with unique designs, aiming to completely change the way boats are imagined. But are buyers ready for such a shift? Take the X1, for example. Even its creator doubted there would be demand for this trimaran, yet several dozen people immediately wanted to buy it. Surprisingly, Hansteger didn't plan to mass-produce the X1 and intended to make only three or four units. So what exactly is the X1? It's a single-masted cruising model with a carbon fiber hull, suitable for open sea voyages. The vessel has three cabins, accommodating up to six overnight guests and requires a crew of four to operate. This luxurious ship comes at a price of around $5.3 million. Water Tricycle We've all been waiting for these. These large wheel models typically cost around $11,000 and work great even in shallow waters. Many companies tweak their bikes for seawater use and market them not just for personal enjoyment, but also as a business investment to attract tourists. You won't be setting any speed records. They usually max out at around six kilometers per hour, but who cares? You'll have plenty of time to take selfies or even shoot a video. Plus, there are two person water bikes with a canopy available. Do you think they're more enjoyable to ride than a traditional tandem bicycle? Stabiex 250SC The Stabiex 250SC boat might be simple, but it gets the point across. The creators clearly focused their efforts on making its features stand out. When was the last time you saw a boat that could drive on land? In this mode, the vessel uses a dedicated 40 horsepower engine, while more powerful engines take over on the water, offering up to 450 horsepower. Since handling beaches, shallow waters, and open seas requires focus and precision, the boat comes with a cabin equipped with sleeping areas. If you need a rest, you can let someone else take the controls. The Stab IX 250SC has room for up to seven people. Optional extras include a trolling motor, solar panels, and even a toilet. The only downside is probably the fact that the estimated price of the boat is a substantial $450,000. Kalila. When luxury, speed, and bold design come together, you get something like the Kalila, a head-turning 49-meter yacht and the first in Palmer Johnson's Super Sport series. It's built to impress, with room for 11 guests and nine crew, and an interior that rivals the finest five-star hotels. But Kalila isn't just about looks. With 5,200 horsepower under the hood, it can hit speeds of up to 55 kilometers per hour, placing it among the fastest yachts in its class. The 40,000-liter fuel tank gives it a cruising range of 2,778 kilometers, so you're not just sailing, you're seriously covering ground. As for the price? Brace yourself. According to experts, Kalila is valued at around $30 million, a fitting price for a yacht that blends opulence with outrageous performance. Cormoran K7A jet ski and a catamaran in one? You bet. Step onto the Cormoran K7. Its hydrofoils adjust to transform it into a speedy boat, blending the best of both worlds. Plus, when you open the swimming platform and lift the butterfly wing doors, it becomes your personal floating island. The creators believe this is a game changer in boat design, so they've used top-notch technology throughout. They've built a carbon fiber monocoque, much like an F1 car.
If you wish, the engines can be boosted to 900 horsepower, reaching speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. In fact, they've even considered developing a racing version. Naturally, it comes with features like hi-fi audio, autopilot, leather upholstery, and other luxuries. And the price? It's around $1.7 million. Weta Trimaran's fun, fast, easy, if only every dental practice adopted this motto. But for now, it belongs to Weta, a company that manufactures trimarans and is making quite a splash, already supplying to 24 countries. So what's their recipe for success? It all started with a father and son team who were disappointed by the lack of trimarans designed for learning to sail in an enjoyable way. They decided to create their own model, now produced under the Weta brand. This trimaran is ideal for teaching children and can reach speeds of up to 37 kilometers per hour. It's comfortable even in strong winds, and its design, while appearing simple, shows remarkable attention to detail. For instance, it takes just 20 minutes to assemble. The beginner's package comes with not just three sails, but also a special trolley for easy moving. The 4.4 version of the trimaran costs $17,800. Connor K3 Amphibious hailed as an engineering triumph, but why undersell it? How many helicopters can not only land on water, but also float and move using water jets? Granted, the speed isn't super high, just 15 km per hour, but for rescue workers, this feature is a game changer. After a water landing, the Connor K3 Amphibious can take off from the water and fly away, thanks to its unique engine setup. It has two engines, a 250 horsepower gas turbine and a 90 horsepower electric engine. The electric engine kicks in when power is low or at lower altitudes, giving pilots more time to get their bearings. Another cool feature is the GPS lock, which lets the helicopter stay put at specific coordinates while sitting on the Darkfin Durafin gloves. Popular with both divers and kayakers, the Darkfin Durafin gloves stand out for their thoughtful design. Their extended length allows them to fit neatly under wetsuits. And with Darkfin tech, it's like increasing your palm size by 70%. Compared to the previous version, they're more durable and provide better thermal insulation, making them well-suited for long spearfishing trips. The main innovation is a third micro layer of latex combined with cotton fiber, which improves comfort in colder waters. Zip Fastener Ship At first glance, this vessel is puzzling. Its unusual shape leaves many wondering what it is and why it looks the way it does. The answer, it's a ship designed to resemble a zipper. The concept was created by Japanese artist Yasuhiro Suzuki, known for drawing inspiration from everyday objects. In 2002, while flying over water, he noticed how ships seemed to part the surface like a zipper moving through fabric. That observation led to an art project, which took shape by 2004. The piece gained widespread attention in 2020 when it was featured in the Designart Tokyo 2020 exhibition, sailing along the Sumida River crossing in Tokyo. The choice of location was symbolic. The Sumida River has historically divided the provinces of Musashi and Shimosa, and the ship's movement across its waters reflects this historical boundary. Racebird, you've heard of Formula E, the electric counterpart to Formula One, now meet its aquatic sibling, the E1 Series, the world's first electric powerboat racing championship. Behind both innovations is Alejandro Agag, a Spanish entrepreneur passionate about motorsport and sustainability. To promote the E1 Series, Agag introduced the Racebird, an electric speedboat designed specifically for this new competition. Powered by a 200-horsepower electric outboard motor, the Racebird uses hydrofoils to lift above the water, reducing drag and increasing efficiency. Although its top speed is currently 93 km per hour, not quite as fast as conventional race boats, it makes up for it by producing almost no wake and needing just two full recharges per race. The Racebird isn't just about speed. It's a symbol of the future of eco-conscious racing on water.